Okay, this is a uh, overview of a, a capital vending kit. Um, basically, this kit right here is designed to update vending machines that originally had logic or dumb mech changers so that they'll work with the MDB interface. Um, this kit's designed to work with all uh, vending machines with those type of changers, whether you have a 12 or a 15 pin connector on your changer. Um, installation is basically very easy. The power harness, when it is supplied, will have a unique connector on the end. So this connector right here is very machine specific. So that's why on our website we have you order it by machine type. Um, in this case, this is one of our popular kits. This is for a, an AP110 series. Um, in, the, in the machine, there's actually, on this connector right here, there is no harness. So we're able to go here and supply enough current uh, to power your MDB devices. Um, other machines, you might have a connector that looks like this. So I'll essentially have you take an existing connector off the board, connect this, and then on the red and black wires are going to be tapped here, and that gives us our power. So the, uh, with your purchase, the instructions come are machine specific, so it's very easy to install this kit. Um, here, I kind of have a complete setup with three MDB devices. Um, about half of our customers are starting to put in credit card readers. So if you purchase this kit, you're lucky if at the time you're just updating to get a, maybe to have a validator that accept fi accepts $5 bills or to be able to dispense dollar coins. Um, in the future, you'll, you've already got this paid for and can easily add a credit card reader. Um, when you're installing this, most important thing, you want to follow this harness right here. So this is my MDB connector. If you're not installing a credit card reader, it will go first to the dollar bill validator, then to the coin changer. In this case, when you're doing your installation, just so that in order that everything works properly, um, this will first plug into the telemeter, which is basically gives you the uh, cellular interface for your credit card reader. So after the telemeter, right here, this connector goes to the validator, and finally the last single connector is going to go to the coin changer. Um, this is kind of an overview of a, a kit. We kind of sell us setups so that when we ship it to our customers they have everything that they need. Uh, basically, when we prefer sending the credit card reader setups, we like to have the mask already attached to the dollar bill validator. Um, we do this because a lot of vending machines will not have a um, dual knockout ports, so if you have your own credit card reader, basically that would be dedicated, then that sometimes involves cutting and essentially adding an extra hole to the validator, which could be time consuming. Um, it doesn't look good. Some machines, it would, you know, it would actually look horrible or be very difficult to do it. Um, so, like our default method is to supply it this way. All of these parts can be purchased on our website individually. So if you already have your changer and validator, um, if you go to the section of our website that talks about uh, updating vending machines to credit card readers, each piece is uh, available individually. Um, this piece, I guess, is the focus of the video um, where we're going from Logic to MDB. Um, we have other videos where if the control board already is has MDB, uh, it's a lower cost uh, interface, a much lower cost interface to be able to uh, install MDB components. But again, if you have a dumb mech, a 12 or 15 bin dumb mech, um, you're often going to put this in. But our website has a listing of which machines need require require which kit. So it uh, should be a big help in deciding what you what you want to do and how you want to put in your uh, MDB components.